Hi, I'm Drew Kojak, Executive Director of the International Council on Clean Transportation. This video is part of a six-part series on how to decarbonize the global transportation sector. Our focus here is on heavy-duty trucks and buses. Today, more than 80% of people living in cities that monitor air pollution are exposed to air quality levels that exceed health-based limits. In other words, most of the world's population is breathing polluted air. And unless we take action, that number is expected to rise. In fact, two-thirds of the world's population are projected to be living in cities by 2030. One major source of air pollution is diesel trucks and buses, which emit black smoke from their tailpipes. This diesel exhaust is composed of fine particles that become trapped deep in the lungs and can lead to lung and heart disease and premature mortality. These black particles are also major contributors to global warming. In fact, Black carbon is the third largest climate warming agent after carbon dioxide and methane. So what's to be done? One option is to clean up diesel engines by installing diesel particulate filters on all new trucks and buses and even some vehicles in the existing fleets. In most cases, this requires oil companies to remove sulfur from diesel fuel. In 2019, 39 countries have implemented what we call soot-free standards for new heavy-duty diesel engines that achieve better than a 95% reduction in black carbon emissions. Another option is to leapfrog to electric trucks. Transit buses are an excellent candidate for electrification since they travel relatively short distances on the same route. According to this chart, Electric buses are also cheaper than their diesel counterparts when fueling and maintenance costs are included. The toughest nut to crack are the long haul tractor trips. These big rigs must be able to pull 80,000 pounds, achieve million mile durability, generate high torque when scaling mountains, and they have to do all this while achieving 365 day a year reliability. To make them carbon neutral, three technologies are in play. Hydrogen fuel cells, batteries, and hybrid trucks traveling on electric highways with either overhead or embedded catenary lines. A fourth option is to shift freight from truck to train. Whatever the technology solution, governments are sending strong signals to the industry that there needs to be a shift in resources towards developing zero emission trucks. As you can see from this chart, California has required truck manufacturers to sell 30% of new tractor trailers and 50% of new straight trucks as zero emission heavy duty vehicles by 2030. The European Union and China are likely to follow California's lead with new policies in the next two years.